We're gonna cover the push-up in this video. We're gonna go through a breakdown of what you can do if your push-ups aren't very good, and we're gonna show exactly what it should look like. So, first thing, I'm gonna give a demonstration. A few things you wanna think about are keeping the hands right outside of shoulder width, feet just outside of hip width. You lower down, touch the sternum to the ground, and press back up. Now, within this, two things to note. The hands are just outside the shoulder width. They're not wide, they're not too narrow. Yes, there are other variations you can show off and do, but if you can't do this one, you can't do a real push-up. That's key. Second, note, the core stays engaged. The hips do not touch the ground, your sternum touches the ground and the knees. So everything from the toes to the sternum is in a straight line. So I get stuff here, and the hips are a little higher than you may have thought, but I lower down, touch the sternum, and push back up. It's no different than holding a plane. You're holding this position, you lower down, and you press back up. So keep the core engaged, knees off the ground. Third, understand that when you're lowering down, it's not a straight up and down. You're actually arcing a little bit forward. So as I lower down, my shoulders are gonna go forward and here, relative to the hands, I touch and I push back up. Touch and I push back up. So that's an important thing because full range of motion with the shoulders has a little bit of rotation. And I rotate and I push back up. Same thing on a bench press, there's a little bit of a, a arc as I do it. I want to just straight down and up. So if you don't have the strength to do a great push up now, that's okay. We're gonna start with something that's called a hand release push up. You're gonna start, lower down, pick the hands up, and push back up. Notice the knees stay off the ground, toes stay engaged, and I press all the way down and up. The reason we start there is because most people who can't do a push up, they get all, I can't do a push up. Can I do girl push ups? And they try and excuse themselves of doing full range of motion. But when you take the ego out of it and say, just go all the way to the ground, guess what? You start to develop full range of motion and strengthen the shoulders. So when you're doing this, understand, I'm just controlling it all the way down, and then I can pause, reset, take a second, and push back up. And if you're not even there yet, sure, you can lower down, put your knees on the ground, push up, and then pop up. So I can lower down here, knees, push, and up. Now, that's a big difference than people that the hand's too wide and they don't really go all the way down, or, or they think that touching their head to the ground. If you're doing this, <laughs> and you think that putting your head closer to the ground makes you more doing better reps, it's not working for you. So focus on the push-up, do it well, let the hands get all the way down, touch the sternum to the ground every single time. Keep the knees off the ground, you're gonna be in a great spot, right? That is the push-up.